Our next session will focus on the digital transformation of rural areas. Joining us on stage are Tijana Koprivica, Chief Business Sustainability Officer at Delta Holding, Milica Trajković, Head of the Center for Innovation and Business Development at Biosense Institute, and Edo Bratović from Mokring House. They will be discussing how digital solutions can revitalize rural areas. Please give them a warm welcome. I would like to say that Edo is not with us today uh, because of uh, bad health conditions, so Milica and I will present the project to you. Uh, Digital Village project is created by Delta Holding, Biosense and Mokrin House. And uh, Delta Holding is one of the largest Serbian companies whose core business is agricultural production. And we truly believe that agriculture provides a great opportunity uh, for the improvement of Serbian economy, but only if it is modern, efficient, and based on newest technologies. And that's why we want to share our knowledge and our experience with the farmers from the villages and to help them to improve their business results and the quality of their products. Biosense Institute is one of the main scientific institutions in our country, which has already developed useful applica applications for agricultural producers and helps producers to gain benefits of using digital data, which can be provided by drones and sensors. Mokrin House is co-working place in Mokrin Village, which gives us an opportunity to connect with farmers, to learn and to share experience. And besides co-working place, Mokrin House has a crop fields, which will be, which will be used for uh, practical trainings. Our aim is to help farmers to introduce digitalization on their production and make it easier, more efficient and sustainable. And uh, digitalization achieves better control of production process, reducing the use of nitrogen fertilizers and lower consumption of fuel and protects a land for the future generation. So we truly believe that this is the way to obtain higher earnings and more attractive life in the countryside, especially for young people. So why we choose Mokrin? Mokrin is the village near the town of Kikinda, close to the Romanian border. And uh, it, uh, in Mokrin lives uh, 5,700 citizens. And the main reason is that in Mokrin, uh, we have a large number of farmers who want to develop, who are ready to develop their production. And also there are a lot of young people who want to stay in the village and to develop their farms, uh, their actually family farms. And besides that, Mokrin area is suitable for installation of modern wireless digital infrastructure. And as I mentioned before, we have the possibility to use the multifunctional space Mokrin house and their fields for demo farming and practical trainings. So now I give the floor to Milica from Biosense Institute, and she will explain what we did in previous period uh, to reach our goals and what are our future plans. Thank you. Thank you, Tiana. Um, good morning from my side as well. So basically what we did, uh, first of all, we wanted to get to know those farmers. Uh, so we talked to them. And we ask them what they are doing and how they are doing, uh, both in terms of agronomic uh, way of, of uh, producing, uh, producing food, however also um, how uh, willing they are to use technologies in, day, uh, in their day-to-day -day, uh, lives. So basically we did one-on-one um, -on -one interviews uh, with farmers at, and uh, at the end uh, we got uh, a little bit more than 30 farmers that are completely ready to experiment with us. So basically to tell us all about their production uh, and to be very open-minded uh, to our suggestions and uh, uh, our way, way of thinking. Um, also in parallel, uh, we started with 
so-called MocrinSense. Uh, basically, uh, Biosense has AgroSense platform uh, that is uh, dedicated to agricultural producers. It is free of charge in Serbia, uh, and it allows people to um, monitor their agricultural production uh, with satellite images, drone images. Uh, if they have uh, sensors, we can uh, also put uh, that data in the, into the platform and many, many other uh, informations. If, if anyone wants uh, to know more, I'm free. I'm here after the, after the presentation. I'll be uh, more than happy to answer all the questions. Um, but we want to, to tailor this AgroSense to Mokrin and to provide them with more functionalities. Um, basically, last year, uh, we did uh, 10 uh, 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 presentations, uh, 10 lectures um, about uh, variable sowing, variable fertilization, and many, many other topics, both from um, agricultural, agronomic point of view, uh, but also from technological point of view. So uh, what can be done differently uh, from both sides, from both worlds, and uh, how to uh, basically get the best out of uh, new approaches um, in, both, um, in both industries. Um, also, uh, we learned and motivated uh, farmers to use uh, AgroSense until we develop uh, the new platform. Uh, we gave uh, tips for modernization of their agricultural production, basically with uh, Delta's um, agricultural advisors. We really uh, had a huge success in the last uh, production season. Um, and a couple of, let's say, weeks ago, uh, we did a drone imaging uh, for, for our uh, farmers to give them uh, ready to use advices for uh, fertilization for, for the next season. So what are our upcoming activities? Um, first of all, we would like to offer digital services to agricultural produ uh, producers. Um, we are developing a system uh, with a bank um, in, in Serbia uh, to allow uh, farmers to uh, have all uh, the uh, pro uh, banking products uh, on their mobile phone. Uh, so, but that is not uh, just a buzzword as uh, uh, banking on click or, or something, something similar, but we actually want to allow farmers to uh, use banking products uh, just based on their usage of AgroSense or MocrinSense platform. So basically based on uh, their history, uh, based on their activities, based on their uh, risk awareness, um, the bank will be able to um, allow uh, and to uh, uh, make them a poss possibility to use uh, different types of banking and insurance uh, services. Um, however, also we want to link also other uh, providers um, of uh, digital uh, uh, services to, uh, to agricultural producers. Uh, something that we came up to with, when, while talking with, uh, with farmers in these one-on-one -on -one interviews uh, was the need uh, for some kind of a virtual cooperative. Basically, they wanted to team up uh, with uh, other farmers in the region. However, uh, they don't want to have a, a classical, uh, traditional cooperative with you know, one president and uh, a similar organization, but they want to have transparency uh, with an entire process. Uh, so the data uh, should be very open uh, and uh, transparent. So we call it virtual cooperative where they could meet up uh, and team up um, and basically uh, from one side um, offer their products on the market jointly. However, on the other side also during a production season they could uh, ask for different types of offerings from seeds companies, fertilizer companies um, and to have some leverage on them based uh, on the quantities they are uh, trying to, to, to have. Um, also, in the upcoming period, since we have one year um, behind us, uh, we would like to showcase uh, what are the concrete uh, positive uh, lessons learned uh, from, from this digitalization of agricultural production in uh, one village uh, in, in Serbia, um, and to show uh, what are the benefits if uh, people uh, jointly uh, access this uh, and accept uh, the digitalization. Uh, so basically, if we have uh, all the farmers, all the system uh, in entire village, 
Uh, the infrastructure also, which is uh, quite important. Uh, we had lucky, uh, and that was basically one of the uh, uh, reasons why we've chosen uh, Mokrin, uh, to have uh, all the infrastructure that is needed, uh, basically internet, uh, uh, and that will allow us uh, to basically use uh, the, the sensors and other uh, technologies. Um, and also, in the upcoming period, when we finish this agricultural season, um, we would like to have a roadmap of digital transformation of the villages uh, in Serbia, uh, which we will be able uh, to offer also uh, here, why not, uh, and to uh, really help uh, people in their day-to-day uh, -day, uh, lives uh, in, in villages, and also uh, to promote this type of, uh, of, of living uh, and working um, outside cities, in the previous period, that, that is becoming more and more um, popular. However, with this type of technologies and with this approach, we really think that we will have impact uh, in Serbian uh, villages. Um, also, I will invite um, all partners that um, uh, find interesting uh, this topic uh, to, to approach us. We are very open uh, to new partnerships uh, to see how we can further improve um, our pilot project and why not scale it to Serbia and to Montenegro. Thank, Thank you. you. Last but not least, um, our idea started uh, with Delta and Biosense um, with our own resources. However, we pitched it uh, within European Commission and they said, hey, this is a really good idea with a high impact. So basically we were funded by Foster Project. Um, so in the upcoming uh, years, we have some uh, space for experimentation. Uh, but my call for uh, new partners is also on. Thank you.